Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. I'm sure you can see the title of this video of the mod I'm about to review. But before we start, I want to just say a few words for you to understand why am I reviewing, where did I get this mod from, and what's this all about. Well, if you follow my channel, you, you've seen a few reviews that are more meant for new vapors. Like, for instance, the questions and answers I had uh, in the past that I reviewed two, two parts. Um, the latest wicking tutorial video. Um, does naturally extracted tobacco taste like real cigarette? All these type of reviews, and lately the starter kits that I started to review, are meant for people, smokers, who are switching to vaping and need encouragement, <coughs> need advice, need help. Now, there is a vaping shop that I pass nearly daily on my, on my way to the office. And over time, I became very good friends with the owner. And many times he does evenings for um, new vapors to come in and he does a demonstration how to do this, how to do that. So once or twice I attended those and those are the questions and answers reviewed I've done. Um, but uh, mainly is that he gives my email um, address, with my permission of course, to all those who need further assistance in something that he hasn't got the time or knowledge to do. Now for me, that is, uh, uh, um, for me this, I enjoy doing it. Um, I enjoy helping others in something that I received help when I first started. Um, and for me, it was never taken as a chore. It was doing, I was doing as a hobby and I enjoy talking about the hobby and I enjoy helping others um, with vaping. It's very important for me, the vaping. Um, and I enjoyed it very much. But they, they looked at it in a different way. They looked at it as if someone is giving away his time and we, tr we, we ought to say thank you to him as an appreciation. So on the day that I have done the review on the Nest RDA, um, so how it goes is I do my review, sometimes a longer, a longer review. I, I give it to the guys in the office to watch uh, before I upload it to tell me if there's any, anything. I don't normally edit anything, so if there is anything extraordinarily wrong, they should tell me about it. While they were watching the review, um, uh, one of these, those guys, those, um, the one who st had started vaping, um, came in with a, um, a box and he says, uh, he says to me, this is for you. And I open up the wrapping and I see this. I'll open it and you can see for yourself. Yeah, the Ultrona EOS 2 powered by Asmodus. I was completely taken back by it. I said, what, what, what? You didn't have to. Anyway, to cut the story short, um, they went through quite a lot of, um, I shouldn't say hassle, but time-consuming efforts to get me the right color combination and they based it on this mod here the arctic dolphin donors plus that i reviewed i've got this review on my channel you can watch it i put maybe a link above so you'll understand where what's this mod is not mine this belongs to harry if you follow my channel, you know Harry is our site manager and he became very ill with COVID-19 and he was very close to the worst possible <laughs> outcome. And he pulled through, thank God, and we bought him this as a gift. And when I first re uh, reviewed it, it was beautiful. I mean, just look at this beautiful mod. And they... 
they wanted to get me as nearest as possible the colors to this. So they went through quite a lot. Of, they wanted to buy me a very advanced mod, but with the same type of design. Um, so it is a bit similar in in the colors. Um, yeah, I don't like them too much of the blue, of the green. I like more of the natural colors of the wood. Um, so they chose me something very similar in size and in looks. Yeah, the Ultron is a bit wider and also could accommodate a bigger tank. I'll go through the spec in a minute. And it is touchscreen. Uh, if you see this now, if I press, nothing happens, right? But if I gently scroll, it opens up the menu. And then you can see in the bottom, it says N for natural. If I carry on, it will change to from soft, hard, natural. Yeah. If I press the fire button, it would lock automatic so you nothing could happen. Now, watch this. This is on power. I want to change settings. I go to temperature. Which one is it? I can't see without my reading glasses, so I assume you can see it. Yeah. Temperature. And this is, uh, I can't see. I'm sure you can see another setting curve, I think. Yeah. And this is, um, <laughs> can't see, TCR and something else. And then you come back to power. Now, imagine I go into temperature and this is now, I want to change something. So I press this and it turns to Fahrenheit. Now, if I want to change the Fahrenheit, I hold it and I can go up and down. Yeah and press this to lock in the setting now i want to go back to power i just go like that i want to change the wattage in the power i press this up and down and it goes up all the way up to 180 watts now apparently you can change these colors to other colors if you want uh, plain colors because you can go up and get a software update on Asmodus website and you can get them as ordinary, you know, this type. Now, I, 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 know, I, I love this mod for two reasons. First of all, I love um, stabilized wood. For me, this is a natural product. It feels good in the hand. It's so light. And this is a dual battery. Watch this. A dual 18650. So, and so you got the power. And um, it's so light. <clears throat> For instance, the one that I'm using up to up to till I got this mod, I've been using the Nest on the on the um, the Vupu. What was this called again? The Vupu. Um, uh, come on. Um, I can't remember the name of the Vupu. I had I had a um, a review on it not long ago. You know, me with names is terrible. Um, it's, t it's time consuming for me to try and find the word, the name of this mod. Uh, I'm sure you're shouting it now on your top of your lungs. Come on, come on, come on. Don't you remember your mods? No, I don't. <laughs> um, the Argus GT. <coughs> yeah. The Argus GT. Um, it's also a dual battery. Yeah. Also a dual battery. But it's so much heavier. It's so much heavier. Also, this looks great with the Nest. Great. 
but um, it's so much heavier. It's, okay, this is a different type of mod. Um, this is so light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start using the nest on this mod. And I'll show you how it looks. And I've got another mod I want to use. The mouse too long, I'll show you in a minute. But one, two, three, four, five. Now it tells you when you switch it on, it asks you to make sure that the batteries are not torn. So married batteries, WO, damage only. This is a Chinese way of, I'm not sure where it's made, but married batteries. You <laughs> Interesting wording. Anyway, if you press yes, it would fire up the smallest logo and it would um, work well, this is 16 watts let me just change the wattage so uh, one minute open change the wattage now it goes up fairly quick when you hold your hand one minute is it moving can't see See, it moves fairly fast. Moves one numbers up, but it kicks in. It moves in. Oh, 87 watts. I've gone too high. Um, let me get it down to 40, 50. Let's say. Yeah. Okay. And this looks great on this mod, doesn't it? Let's give us a vape. you watch my review on this nest if you didn't buy a mesh rebuildable RDA a mesh RDA because you're scared of a dry hit do yourself a favor get one one of these um, watch my review on it <clears throat> you can put in as m so much liquid in here it's not it's it's like nearly like an RTA with full of cotton. I mean, you can put in here a tremendous amount of liquid. Yeah, so this mod will be used mainly with this RDA and look how nice it looks. Beautiful. And I've got another um, tank that I'm going to use, especially when I go out and about, is m my last review, I think it was the last one before last, the um, Art Artemis, what was it called again? Yeah, the Artemis Mouth to Long RTA that I use normally on <clears throat> on the, my side-by-side -side from Asmodus, from, uh, gosh, um, Ambition Mods. Top RDA, um, RTA. You must watch my review. It's got quirks in it, yeah. But I love this design. I love the flavor. is superb. And yeah, sometimes I get a um, uh, sometimes I get a problem because I don't follow my own advice to take my time with this tank, and I rush it especially when you put it on a side by side so you can't hold it properly to put it down to, to screw it in but i think it looks very nice and one thing i ought to mention that i put it in the description of this tank that i didn't mention in the review because it happened to me after i've done the review now this mouthpiece is solid metal and the design of it can be very dangerous when you have it in your mouth and you're driving and a sudden movement of either a pothole in the road or you have to brake or something can knock this in your teeth and literally chip your tooth. It happened to me, thank God it didn't chip my tooth, but I got a knock in my tooth. I thought for a minute I broke my tooth. So since then, I only use this mouthpiece when I'm not driving and um, I use my other mouthpiece. Where's it gone? Um, here it is. 
this mouthpiece here. It gives me enough clearance with the side by side and it's very comfortable as well. It doesn't look as quirky as the long one that I like, but very comfortable indeed. Yeah, so uh, when I go out and about, I want a dual battery, for instance, um, and I'm going to be away from any uh, power source for a while. That happens to me often. Um, I would use this mod with this tank and I'll show you how it looks. <coughs> yeah, it looks quite nice indeed. It looks very nice. <coughs> it wouldn't look as nice with a long drip tip, I'll show you, because then it doesn't really suit it. Um, doesn't really suit it so much because this adds a lot of height that is good for side by side but um, this looks a lot better I think it looks stunning yeah um, I'm gonna put this mod into good use that's for sure um, what else could I tell you about it I'll look I put, I'll put down and below this, um, this um, specifications but it's got the GX 180 UTC chipset from a Asmodus that is a very reliable and um, good chipset 5 to 180 watts um, TC mode is as well 5 to 120 watts, uh, watts. Fahrenheit is between 212 to 572 so you can have your temperature as you like it uh, aluminium wood raisin resin, resin construction up to 26 millimeter this was a 25 millimeter so you can see that it looks perfect no you still have a bit of room as you can see for another uh, millimeter so up to 26 even 27 will look too bad on it so it can fit m m all tanks nearly uh, IPS captive full color touchscreen USB type C charging oh yes I forgot to show, tell you that um, and you get the cable why don't they make this longer please make these longer some people put it in in the wall in a power source not in a laptop so we need this a bit longer like they used to do them and they give you as well a nice pou pouch that you can put this mod now especially with this tank it doesn't leak um, this is perfect you just close it and just take out the batteries when you travel but stunning hmm? yeah and plus they give you um, a polishing well obviously they give you the manual that you'll need because there's a lot of settings in there I, although I use it only a power they give you this polishing stick to polish your mod because it's wood but I think down the road I'm going to make a, um, a, a, a video on how to polish your stabilized wood. It's very simple, very easy, very cheap way to do it and it brings out the grain and it keeps the everything in top tip, tip top condition. Um, yeah. So this I'm going to give back to Harry. He gave me just this now to show you the the, the the resemblance of the colors and what why would they bought me this based on this review here um, yeah okay so really what I need to say now is thank you to all involved I really really appreciate it you didn't have to but since you bought it I will put it in good use and um, with my Nest RTA and uh, my Nest RDA and with my uh, Artemis mouse to long RTA when I go out and about.
Just want to show you how it looks with other tanks in case you're interested to buy this mod. Um, if you're like me, you also like wood. Um, stabilized wood. So I'll show you how it looks with the Pandora because the Pandora is black. Oh, the sun has come out. This looks with the Pandora. Now the sun has come out, maybe you'll see the grain better. And um, how does it look with a stainless steel tank? I'll show you, because with wood, everything looks good. Um, here's the Pandora. Uh, come on. I've got my Gen Nano. I love this mod as well. This is my everyday out and about mod. But this looks nice as well. Everything will look good with wood. Yeah. And this is a 22 millimeter. So really any tank will look good on this mod. Okay, uh, I think I um, showed you this mod. Actually, you want me to show you the one more tank? If I'm already doing this, might as well. And this is a 24 millimeter, the Kfon light. And look how nice it looks. I don't want to vape it because this is now at 50 watt, 51 watts. Looks stunning, actually. Yeah, I normally use the Vaporesso Target. This one here, the Mini. So, thank you very much for this mod. I really appreciate it. Um, you shouldn't have, but since you did, I'll bring it to good use. And um, yeah, so here you go. If anyone is interested to buy this mod, I would leave in the comments. I can't put any website. I don't know where they bought it, how much they paid for it, but I can find out and let you know if you're interested. Um, I know it is expensive, but you know, things have been out for a while. You can get them in good prices. Um, so if you're interested, let me know and I will sh tell you where they bought it and for what price. Okay, uh, oh, it's going to turn out a nice day after all. All right, until the next review, take care, enjoy your vape, bye-bye for now.